The JWST, or James Webb Space Telescope, is acknowledged as the leading global observatory in space research. Its primary objective is to investigate mysteries surrounding both our own solar system and orbiting exoplanets far away from distant stars and to investigate the intricate structures that compose our universe and where we fit into it. In pioneering work, scientists recently directed the JWST towards a star located 120 light-years from our solar system. In doing so, the powerful telescope found convincing evidence suggesting the presence of carbon-based molecules in the atmosphere of a potential ocean world located far beyond Earth, astonishing the astronomical community. But how extraordinary is this possibility of discovery? This revelation offers an intriguing glimpse at a planet that is vastly different from anything found within our solar system, while also raising profound questions about the potential for habitable worlds somewhere else in the vastness of space. Join us as we delve deeper into this exoplanet discovery and explore the fascinating details it uncovers. If you're eager to stay updated on the recent findings regarding the universe and beyond, be sure to subscribe to our channel, like the video, share it with others, and press the notification bell to stay informed. An ASAS James Webb Space Telescope has made a groundbreaking discovery about the exoplanet K218b, a planet 8.6 times larger than Earth. What makes this finding particularly exciting is the identification of specific carbon compounds such as methane and carbon dioxide in its atmosphere. The telescope's detection bolsters previous research suggesting that K218b might have conditions appropriate for life. It appears to have a hydrogen-rich atmosphere and oceans covering the surface. The first analysis of the atmosphere of this exoplanet's properties situated within the habitable zone was conducted using NASA's Hubble Space Telescope which greatly enhanced our knowledge of the system. It's important to note that K218b is 12 light years away from Earth within the constellation Leo and orbits a cool dwarf star known as K218. This star lies within the habitable zone of its structure. Exoplanets such as K218b, which fall between the sizes of Earth and Neptune, are a very uncommon group in our solar system because there aren't similar planets in our neighborhood. The possibility that K218b might harbor a significant amount of carbon and a hydrogen-dominated atmosphere is particularly intriguing to astronomers. Many experts believe such planets may provide ideal circumstances for the search for signs of life. The presence of carbon dioxide and methane, along with the absence of ammonia strengthens the hypothesis that this exoplanet might contain an ocean beneath its hydrogen-rich atmosphere. Early research has also suggested that dimethyl sulfide, a chemical compound produced by life on Earth, might be discovered in K218b's atmosphere. The majority of dimethyl sulfide is produced by marine plankton but the evidence for this compound on K218b remains weak and requires further confirmation. Additional observations making use of the JWST telescope network ought to help determine if dimethyl sulfide is indeed present in significant amounts in K218b's atmosphere. One astronomer from Cambridge University explained that, despite K218b lying within the habitable zone and consisting of carbon compounds, this does not automatically imply that life can exist there. The planet's radius is 2.6 times Earth's indicating that a thick, high-pressure mantle of ice similar to Neptune may surround its core. Furthermore, it has a thinner hydrogen-rich atmosphere and its surface is ocean-covered. While liquid water oceans are anticipated on this exoplanet, there remains the possibility that these oceans may be too rigid or insufficient to support life. However, researchers have successfully acquired the most comprehensive spectrum of a habitable sub-Neptune planet to date, enabling them to identify the molecules in the planet's atmosphere. A member of the Cardiff University team explained that this challenge was overcome by analyzing light from K218b's host star as it passed through the planet's atmosphere. K218b is classified as a transiting exoplanet, meaning that its brightness decreases when it crosses in front of its host star. 
This is how NASA's K2 mission first identified the exoplanet. During these transits, a portion of sunlight passes through the exoplanet's atmosphere prior to entering space. Telescopes like the JWST can detect signals left behind as sunlight filters through an exoplanet's atmosphere supplying valuable data to identify the gases present. The research team plans to conduct further investigations using the JWST's mid-infrared spectrometer to verify their findings and gather additional data about K-218b's climatic conditions. Their ultimate goal is to search for signs of life on habitable exoplanets, a breakthrough that could radically change our comprehension of the universe. Furthermore, the JWST has made other extraordinary discoveries. Astronomers using the telescope have detected complex organic molecules resembling smog or smoke in a distant galaxy. This is the earliest known detection of such molecules in the universe. Personally, I find this both terrifying and inspiring as these findings from the farthest reaches of the cosmos are reshaping the very foundations of our cosmology. The importance of this discovery lies in the fact that these molecules, known as aromatic hydrocarbons, were found in a galaxy that came into existence when the universe was only about 10% of its current age. These molecules with a carbon base can be found in the world's coal and petroleum deposits as well as in atmospheric pollution like smog and are large and complex, composed of dozens or even hundreds of atoms. What makes this discovery so remarkable is that such large and complex molecules were created so quickly following the Big Bang, defying expectations based on our existing models of the cosmos. To put this in perspective, the light that was detected began its journey in this early galaxy less than 1.5 billion years after the Big Bang, while the universe is currently about 13.8 billion years old. This means we are witnessing some of the first steps in the universe's evolution is a fascinating subject. What is most impressive is that detecting these intricate organic molecules was made possible by the Webb Telescope, which will continue providing us with the ability to make similar observations for nearly a billion more years. If we could observe even further back in time, could we find even more of these molecules, perhaps closer to the actual Big Bang? This raises significant concerns regarding our science and understanding of cosmology. Up until now, attempts at detecting complex organic molecules in ancient galaxies could only confirm their presence. However, with higher web resolution, we can now examine the fine details of where these molecules are located. Additionally, the uneven distribution of these molecules in the early galaxy SP41847 remains an unsolved mystery. What is truly impressive is that this galaxy was already as massive as our own, with stars that had generated as much carbon and oxygen as those in the Milky Way, despite the fact that it is only one-tenth as old as our galaxy. As humanity moves deeper into knowledge, into the unknown, and gains insight, we are humbled by the magnitude and complexity of the universe. With each scientific breakthrough, we move closer to unraveling the mysteries hidden in the stars. As our universe's exploration network continues its work, it will only take a moment before the universe reveals more of its secrets, gleaming even brighter. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section. Don't forget, if you enjoyed the video, to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. As we advance in our understanding of the universe, the James Webb Space Telescope keeps providing us with groundbreaking insights. Its observations are reshaping our perspective on exoplanets and other celestial bodies, pushing the boundaries of our understanding of the universe. This remarkable telescope enables us to peer deeper into space than ever before, uncovering mysteries that have long eluded scientists. The finding of complex organic molecules in distant galaxies is just one example of how the JWST is transforming our knowledge of the universe's early stages and its ongoing evolution. One of the most fascinating aspects of these findings is the possibility that life, or at least the building blocks of life, may exist in areas we once considered hostile. 
The detection of carbon-based compounds in the atmospheres of exoplanets like K-18b opens new avenues for studying potential biosignatures on planets that may resemble Earth in some ways. These compounds, including methane and carbon dioxide, are often linked to biological processes here on Earth. However, their presence in distant worlds does not guarantee that life is present. Instead, it prompts further investigation into the circumstances that could sustain life anywhere else in the universe. NASA's future plans for exoplanet research focus on this potential. The Webb Telescope's ability to analyze the atmospheres of exoplanets with such precision is a significant leap forward. It allows scientists to find more than just the presence of basic elements but also the complex molecules that might indicate the existence of life. This level of detail is crucial for understanding the potential habitability of distant worlds. As our understanding grows, so too does our ability to detect subtle evidence of existence whether in the form of atmospheric gases, organic molecules, or other markers that could point to biological activity. In addition to its work on exoplanets, the JWST is providing valuable insights into the formation and evolution of galaxies. By observing distant galaxies, astronomers can trace the history of star formation, the order of the elements and the processes that drive the growth of galaxies. These observations are crucial for understanding the origins of our own galaxy, the Milky Way and how it has evolved over time. The discovery of aromatic hydrocarbons in a galaxy that formed only a fraction of the time ago compared to our own is a testament to how much we are learning about the early universe. As we continue to explore the cosmos, each new discovery brings us closer to providing responses to some of the profound questions in science. Are we alone in the universe? What conditions are necessary for life to thrive? How is the universe created? and what lies ahead in its future. The James Webb Space Telescope is providing the tools necessary to respond to these inquiries, offering a window into the farthest reaches of space and time. In the future, more revolutionary discoveries will be made by the JWST. Its ability to study the early universe, exoplanets, and the fundamental processes that shape the cosmos will undoubtedly lead to new insights that challenge our current understanding. The potential for discovering new planets, studying their environments, and locating evidence of life beyond Earth is more promising than ever. With each observation, we are reminded of how much there is still to learn about the universe. The Webb Telescope, with its never-before-seen capabilities, is leading the way in our pursuit of knowledge. It is not just an instrument for astronomers. It is a symbol of humanity's curiosity and drive to understand the cosmos. As we look to the future, we can be certain that the discoveries made by the JWST will continue to inspire and transform our understanding of the universe, helping us answer questions that have fascinated humanity for centuries. As the telescope continues to scan the skies, we can only imagine the incredible advancements that remain to follow. Whether it's the detection of new exoplanets, the exploration of distant galaxies, or the discovery of life in places we never thought possible, the James Webb Space Telescope is at the forefront of space exploration. Its mission is one of discovery that will determine the future of astronomy and our knowledge of the universe for generations to come.